The tragedy unfolding in the Ukraine is making it too late to sell your stocks. As I mentioned back uh, on November 3rd, when I said lots of stocks were in a bubble and should be sold, uh, and again on January 21st, when I said seven reasons to, to raise cash, uh, I did think that raising cash was advisable for the past several months. I now think that the crisis in the Ukraine has caused the market to go down enough that it's probably too, sell to, too late to sell most of your items. Does it mean everything should be, uh, bubble stocks still shouldn't be sold, but most of your stocks, higher quality stocks, it's too late to sell those just because they were overvalued. Now, the reasons for the Ukrainian invasion were very well documented. The market started discounting this a few weeks ago. Uh, back on November, excuse me, January 25th, I did pull out a full video saying why Russia would invade the Ukraine unless NATO provided the concession that Ukraine would never be part of NATO and NATO troops would never be in the Ukraine. Uh, that failed to materialize and Putin had made it perfectly clear that he was going to invade. This is a humanitarian disaster. Putin is acting like a thug. Uh, this is a big disaster and does change the scope of Europe for years to come. I am not going to focus on the humanitarian disaster side of this. I'm going to focus on the economic impact and impact on the stock market in particular. I do think that the market has sold off enough uh, to take into account the economic impact. And I do think that you should be looking to redeploy cash um, here into this weakness. I am going to be working on ideas on the next several days and trying to figure out where I want to put my cash. Um, but I do think I'm very close to putting some of this cash to work. Go to buildingbenjamins.com to get email and text alerts. You can sign up right there and you'll get those as I do those trades. The um, humanitarian crisis in the Ukraine is going to uh, cause the globe to have some reactions uh, and sanctions on Russia. Uh, depending on how those play out, uh, the economic severity could be extremely severe to mildly severe. Um, Russia has Europe by the throat when it comes to energy, particularly natural gas. And natural gas prices are spiking, crude oil prices are spiking, and uh, if Europe intends to block natural gas supplies, Europe is going to go into a very severe recession. The debate will be whether that occurs. The other item is of very big importance that is going to have secondary ramifications is the possibility or probability now, given the size of the invasion, that the U.S. will exclude Russia from the SWIFT dollar payment system. This would be very difficult to make Russia trade across the globe. They have been working on doing other items of trade uh, with China and directly with other countries, but most of the global trade in the world actually takes place with the dollar. The ramifications for Russia would be severe, but they would have uh, workarounds. The problem from the U.S. perspective, if they do proceed to kick somebody out of the SWIFT system um, and China and Russia starting to do more trade, uh, other Middle Eastern countries uh, start to do more trade outside the dollar, that is actually a negative for the U.S. and U.S. power. Uh, we want people using our currency. It is a huge benefit. It has helped us finance our debts and deficits. The kicking Russia out of the SWIFT system could be um, an accelerant to the demise of the U.S. dollar as a reserve currency. Um, we have been building up uh, significant issues uh, with our status as a reserve currency, primarily because of our debt um, and unfunded liabilities. Um, I do have this clock here. 
This is uh, usdebtclock.org. Uh, take a look at it. It will show you that the U.S. debt, that's actually treasure debt, is up to $30 trillion, uh, $30.1 trillion, uh, and going up rapidly. Uh, but in addition to that actual treasury debt, we have unfunded liabilities of Social Security that are running at $21.8 trillion and Medicare unfunded liability of $33.8 trillion. Now to put that in perspective, that's, uh, that's on a U.S. economy that is only $20 trillion. So we have a lot more debt than we actually have economic capability. So my concern is the, we do not need to be accelerating the uh, global move away from the U.S. dollar. Um, I do fear that that risk is going to happen and it's going to be accelerated by these events. Um, the U.S. dollar situation uh, is very precarious currently given these debt levels and unfunded liabilities. Uh, this could lead to a higher inflation for longer uh, here in the U.S. I do think that it makes sense to have inflation hedge stocks in your portfolio. Um, I've talked extensively and we have on our website gold stocks and energy stocks. Uh, both of those I think are still attractive here. Uh, they have moved into this crisis but I do think that if the dollar begins to lose some of its reserve currency status, uh, which is starting to erode, high inflation could make those stocks you know, multi-year uh, winners. Uh, so please take a look at that. Um, also, I would take into account that a lot of people have been so focused on the technology, internet section, um, solar, electric vehicle section, that those areas with are largely in the you know higher price you know growth stock area. Um, if that's all you have in your portfolio, you definitely need to look at adding some energy stocks and gold stocks to your portfolio. Um, I I am up to my eyeballs in gold stocks and energy stocks, and I think that's a very good place to be over the next five to ten years. And I would actually expect them to outperform the um, what's called the growth stock area. So with that in mind, um, I appreciate you taking the time to look at this. Uh, please take a look at our website, buildingvisions.com. Sign up for the text and emails. Also, if you like this, please share it and like it on the bottom of the page. I appreciate your time. Please remember this is not investment advice. You need to take a look at your own risk situation and evaluate what makes sense for you. Thanks again and have a great day.